Hey y'all, what's up? It's your CNC Star Director here, Angie Tallarico Dalton. And today's video is my best spring fragrances for 2021. And I'm very excited about the 12th that I picked. So I've been doing these videos for I think a few years. I wanted to do them like every season to kind of wrap up what in my opinion, I think are the best scents for that season to help you decide which ones to order if you are not able to actually smell them before purchasing. So before we dive in, I do have a Wickless Weekly email newsletter that I create that goes out every Thursday and then some exciting days in between. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I have the link down below with a special perk for new subscribers. Also, if you want to talk more about joining Cincy, whether it's for your personal shopping, a hobby, or income, I do have an Angie Tallarico Dalton sponsorship survey link down below as well. And if you fill that out, it'll come to me and I'll reach out to you and we can chat more about the Scentsy opportunity and see if this is a good fit for you. So I have 12 scents here that I think are the best spring fragrances for this year. I did pick 12, so that would be two six packs if you did want to try all 12, or if you just want to do one six pack or one three pack of wax, I wanted to give you a lot of scents to choose from to kind of decide like what your perfect bundle is. Don't forget whenever you buy five waxes, you get one for free. So if you were to get all 12 of these, you would technically get two free. I have a good arrangement around like citruses, fresh, fruities, and I think I have a good bunch. So I really tried hard to pick some scents that um, I hadn't picked yet from like my previous spring favorites videos um, and scents that are like new or maybe scents that were scents of the month last year that came back in this permanent catalog. So I wanted to give you a fresh, fresh list. So that's it. Let's just go ahead and dive on in. And today I'm going to go in order alphabetically by fragrance family. So right now we are going to talk about the fresh scents, the fresh fragrance family that I chose for my spring favorites. So from Scentsy, the Fresh Fragrance family says, from the spa to the beach to a sunny meadow stroll includes notes like fresh air, linen, lavender, mint, and just cut grass. And the first one up is aloe vera and ivy. So aloe vera and ivy is cool aloe vera entwined with climbing ivy and a splash of watery melon. This one was a scent of the month last year. I don't remember what month, but it was early last year, 2020. And this one definitely surprised me. I did not know how I was going to like this one, but I actually get a lot of melon out of this. And it's very fresh, but clean and fruity at the same time. And I really, really enjoyed this one. And it was a bestseller. And, you know, obviously it came back for a catalog. So, you know, everybody loved this one. Up next in the fragrance family for the fresh scents, this is Iridescent Pearl. And this was a new release last year. It says, Latrocious layers of rock, juicy mango, and apple blossom wind down with tranquil water lotus. I had to choose this one because this came back in the catalog, yes, but it also came out in a lot more products than what it was before, whenever it was in the last spring and summer catalog. So since this came out in a lot more products, I feel like this is the year, like, I, I have the pods in, the wall fan right now. Like, I just feel like this is its year. This is just a very nice, clean spring fragrance not floral whatsoever. It's just very nice and very clean. And I really love the performance on this one. Up next in the Fresh Fragrance family, this is Magnolia Linen. And this is a brand new release for this season. So this is Sun Washed Linen Dances in the Breeze Amid a Garden of Magnolia and Honeysuckle. This, I think, has high potential with coming in future catalogs and in more products. This reminds me a lot of Windowsill Breeze. You may have heard me say that already if you've been watching my videos. This is so, this is definitely one of the best like clean linen scents there are. It really, it reminds me a lot of Windowsill Breeze. And so that's why I think this is just perfect for spring. Last but not least, in the Fresh fra Fragrance family, we have Pink Cotton. Now, this one is not new by any means, but this one is definitely one of my favorites, and I'm very happy that it came back for this catalog. So, Pink Cotton says, Find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. The pink berries and the vanilla sugar is what gets me on this scent. The laundry line in this scent is so good. It's like, I mean, it's just like a very, I don't know. I want to say it's just like pink cotton. 
But if you know a lavender cotton, which is also a really, really nice fragrance, especially for spring, lavender cotton is very good. So this is just a like more, I want to say a fruitier citrus, you know, it reminds me of strawberries, even though I know it says pink berries, but honestly it reminds me of strawberry, but it's also just very clean, very bright. And I think pink cotton Pink cotton is just so good for springtime. Up next, the next fragrance family is citrus. And this says, classic to sparkling citrus blends includes notes like orange, grapefruit, mandarin, and lemon. And the first one up for spring I have is Be Fabulous. This was a scent of the month last year and it came back. I was very happy with that because honestly, I said it before and it still, it still reminds me of a grapefruit version of Blue Grotto. So Be Fabulous, it says, bright limoncello sparkles against a splash of ruby grapefruit and a sweet sugared musk. Like if you love Blue Grotto, I really think you're gonna love Be Fabulous. It really just reminds me, it, it just does. It's a grapefruit version of Blue Grotto, that's my personal opinion. And the color is beautiful, it like really matches my shirt. Up next in the citrus is Sand Swept. This is a new release and it's definitely one of my favorites of the new releases this year. This says blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. I love this one because you don't expect it to be lemon until you really smell it and then you get that really citrusy you know like under note in it because it's mainly fresh. It's definitely a fresh citrus but it's just very, like it just reminds me of like going on an early, early summer vacation, uh, maybe around March or April, going on a trip somewhere that's, you know, tropical or just even, you know, by a lake. That's what this reminds me of, but it's definitely a fresh citrus and I, I get a lot of lemon out of this, the pink lemon, and I do get a lot of like that, like not a heavy driftwood feel. It's more of like a fresh, woodsy notes <laughs> so fresh woods and uh citrus that's what i'm saying for this one next we have my favorite fragrance family for spring and summer this is the fruity fragrances this one is rock fresh squeezed and always sweet it includes notes like pineapple peach strawberry and apple of course that is always my favorite fragrance family for this time of year and the first one i have to talk about is johnny appleseed and this is what i'm actually warming right now this is not a brand new one it's actually not a brand brand new one it's been out for some years it has retired it has come back but johnny appleseed has really grown in this catalog so i just i really feel like we need to talk about it because now it's available in pods it's a car bar it's in the cleaning line like johnny appleseed has really just really grown especially with this catalog so johnny appleseed it says just picked macintosh pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear this is just the perfect red delicious juicy apple i have talked about this one so much over the years i'm very excited to try out the new car bar right now i had to use the squeezy day because i have my very bright car bar clips and i wanted to add i have i had the car bar clips for a couple weeks and I wanted to add a squeeze today car bar to it to make it like a, like a berry lemonade. And so far it's delicious. <laughs> um, but this is Johnny Appleseed. I'm definitely going to try this one out next, but definitely one of the best apple scents ever. Up next is another scent that's not brand, brand new, but it did come back in this catalog from last year and it has grown and it is now available in more products, which makes me very happy. So Mahalo Coconut is in the, uh, fragr the fruity fragrance family and it says paradise is only a whiff away with floral hawaiian lay and violet over fresh fruity well fruity fresh pineapple and coconut i got those words backwards this is a fresh fruity kind of like which one did it remind me of kind of like sand swept how i said like that's like a fresh citrus this is a fresh fruity it's not completely all coconut. So if you want a more like coconut scent, I definitely recommend going with Pina Colada Cha Cha because that is my favorite coconut scent. Hands down, it's the perfect Pina Colada scent. But my Hello Coconut is getting a lot of attention this year and I definitely think it's one that you need to try if you have not tried this one already. Up next is another brand new release in this catalog. This is Oh Snapdragon. 
This is in the fruity fragrance family and it says exotic blood orange and sparkling pink pineapple are punctuated by a fierce snap dragon. This one is more of a fresh fruity to me. It's not as fruity as I was like initially hoping it was whenever I did get, you know, get the catalog. We were actually able to see all the new scents. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more fruity, but it definitely is a little bit more fresh floral fruity in my opinion, but that's why I think it's perfect for springtime. Up next is a peach nectar and peach nectar says delicate peach skin and blue freesia settle into a bed of billowy musk clouds. This one was brand new last year, I think. Definitely oh, spring and summer. And honestly, this one holds me over since Southern Sweet Tea did not make it back in this catalog, which I was really sad about, but Southern Sweet Tea is like the perfect peach tea fragrance. It's one of my absolute favorites, and it had always come back in catalogs, but sadly, it did not this year, and I'm very sad about that. But Peach Nectar, I think, definitely can hold me over for Southern Sweet Tea. Last but not least, in the uh, Fruity uh, Fragrance family, we have Strawberry Rose, which was another scent of the month in 2020 that has come back for its first full catalog. So, Strawberry Rose, it says a sweet blend of mouth-watering strawberries and soft rose petals with a tusk, tusk, a touch of sheer musk. Do you see what I did there? This is one that at first, of course, I read rose before, like I actually had it in my hands. I did not think I was going to like it and it is by far my favorite fruity floral scent hands down. It's so, it's so romantic. It's so juicy and strawberry, but it also just has that like feminine kind of like perfume vibe to it, but not too much, not overpowering. You know, I don't really like most florals. Strawberry Rose is very good. I've kept the room spray from my scent of the month kit whenever it was the scent of the month. I kept the room spray in Madeline's room and it's just now running low. So it's, you know, time to refill, but um, strawberry rose is definitely a very nice spring fruity scent. And last but not least of the best spring scents for 2021, I have hibiscus pineapple. And this one, like my Hello coconut was a new release last year. And I feel like this is its year to shine. It's available in so many products. I've honestly fallen in love with it more now this year than I was last year. I mean, I liked it last year and it was good, but like I wasn't crazy about it. This year I'm crazy about it. This is hibiscus pineapple. I have the the hand soap on my bathroom sink in our master bath and the body line. First off, the body line, you get so much more pineapple or at least I do. I get so much more pineapple, but whenever I'm warming this, I get so much more of that like fresh floral note. And I do have a fragrance flower in Madeline's bathroom right now. And it's more, it's more fresh floral. Um, with a little hint of pineapple, but the hand soap, I get so much pineapple out of. So hibiscus pineapple, it says, hibiscus pineapple and a touch of sweet mandarin tail and enchanting tropical tail. So I just, that's one thing I love. It's like the different products you kind of get different notes out of. I swear I'm not crazy. I mean, I might be sometimes, but you know, like I swear I'm not. But hibiscus pineapple, definitely this is its year to shine and I had to add it in my best springs video. So yeah, guys, that's it. These are my best spring fragrances for 2021. I would love to hear down in the comments what your best spring scents are, or are you going to grab some of these now that you've watched my video? Or are you gonna grab them all? I wanna know which ones you're interested in trying. I did pick 12 so that if you wanted to try all 12, you could do two six packs and get two bars for free with those two bundles. Or if you wanted to do one six pack or one three pack of wax, you could, you know, hopefully have a bunch to choose from to put your perfect bundle together. But yeah, guys, that's it. I want to hear your comments down below. And as always, don't watch me, join me and have a great day.